morning, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, tonight, we've been called by the Missouri State Highway Patrol, uh, uncertain of the extent of what we're going to have to do. All we know is that there's a tractor trailer loaded approximately 80,000 pounds gross weight that is in a cable system and leaning in danger of rolling over uh, on a uh, side road. It has the road completely blocked. They have two troopers on site at the time uh, that they dispatched us. Uh, so I've got the rotator and Talon is behind me in the Western Star Vulcan B70. Uh, don't know about injuries. As always, we like to ask for prayers, thoughts, good thoughts, well wishes from uh, people of all different belief systems. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get off here and focus on driving. Hopefully this doesn't turn out to be too big of a deal. Uh, one of those things you really never know until you get there. See you on scene. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I see the red and blue lights. We are getting close, but I don't know exactly what's going on here. We shall stop and see. Looks like the trailer is crossways of the road. There's a place to turn around right there, maybe, if we have to. Light them up. Oh, there's a place to turn around right there, too. We got howdy howdy sir uh, we got a case of gps telling you to go the wrong direction he was making a left turn out of here and obviously that's not doable no left turn didn't work and he's up in the barrier up there how bad looks pretty bad yeah, it's not good i don't know you probably have to send a car or a truck around to the other side I didn't know what your plan of attack was going to be. Well, let me see. We will try to come up with one. It's more off than it is on. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Oh, man. He's tangled in this thing, too, isn't he? It's sitting on top of the tire. Well, it, that's, that's it's better than it could be, but coming out, it's gonna take take some damage to the uh, hood, there's no doubt. The darn shame. I can't get to him from where I'm at. Uh, there's a, a uh, county road, 436, yep. it's paved. Yep. So you go back up to FF and go around. It's the first can road on your right after yep. you get back to FF. And it comes around basically right up there by the yep. house. By Rapco. Yep. Well, before you get to Rapco. Oh, so, does it? Yes. Okay. You're thinking of the one that goes, that turns the gravel where everybody, all the trucks yep. go down there. Yep. The one that goes yeah. back, goes all the way up behind the uh, rest area. It probably, it connects to 436, but the next one on the right down there, Nick, I think it's paved. Turn right and it'll bring you right to us here. Okay. So go back to FF, turn right. Yeah. Turn right on, on four. Right, 436. Yep, okay. I researched it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What's up, Talon? What do you know? I, you the driver? Yeah. You alright, man? Yeah, I'm okay. Grab a phone and what I need and I jumped out. Uh, yeah. Pop the brakes and set the brakes. Yep. Um, oh, I got it. 
Overhead lines there. Hey, Talon. Yes, sir. I think if I can get around on these county roads, I've got more dead weight. There? Yeah, he just told me. I think what I want to have you do for now is pull up in Flicker Woods driveway and get it, well, get a strap on that trailer crossways this way so that we're pulling down on the trailer to help keep it from I don't think it's gonna go any further but let's get something on that, put an insurance policy on that. but yeah definitely put an insurance policy on it I know it's gonna be at the wrong angle you may have to go up here on the uh, towards the landing gear you know what I mean to get a strap on it but if you can get up in here Nose up in there. Nose up in here and get a strap on this thing to help pull this trailer back down. That'll help us some. And then I'll... Yeah. All right. I'll leave it with you. As long as I've got a wide enough road there, I can uh, swing in that driveway there and... I'll watch it. All right. Okay. So I'm having to take the long way around uh, through the county roads as instructed by the trooper so i can get around to the front of this thing uh, wish me luck here we go guys oh gotcha gotcha okay if you've got the strap on it from where you're at I'm wondering if I can keep it simple and just pull down low on the nose and get up on the front and pull there, there. there and there that's what I was thinking. Pull down low rather than pulling up high. Kind of help hold the you help hold control. the weight from going that way, and I see if I can slide it this way. I'm gonna grab one of your frame chains and use it on. Go for it. That's what we're, that's what we're kind of hoping, hoping for. Hooks are right over here, bud. Yep. Careful. Except the little guardian angels on the outriggers just as kind of a precautionary measure. Don't like putting a side pull on these. No, no I don't. I got a little bit yet. I want 
single those out. Just a second, bud. Get them back here where you can get to them easier. because I'm going to redirect down here low on this uh... got it there we go got it I got it got it yep got it oh we're not on preschool hold on coming down wonder if I should leave that winch at the ready and try to pull out this drag so I can pull on the front of the trailer that way in case I have to use the boom in a different angle I've got that well I've got my auxiliaries too but I really don't like hooking up to where I'm at on the front here To begin with, I think I'm just going to pull off the axle itself. That way I'm not putting a side pull on that pin. And once we get him up a little further, then maybe I can change. Maybe. be plenty good to snug it up we don't want to put a lot of pressure on it just enough just, to just, hold it. just to hold it's all we want I get too carried away. Let's see if we can pull this dead gum drag winch loose. Well, it came out earlier today. Uh, right there, it stops. Okay. Chain it there. Yep, chain it from there. Alan, you got the radio?
Well, now wait a minute. If he is pulling down, I wonder if I would be better just to go straight to that trailer. That way the tires can roll as it comes forward. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, let's try that first. Let's try it the easy way. It'll work or it won't. verify that before we do yes. anything. Let's see if we can get back one more get an angle at it maybe get a better bite. Well I don't want it to get into where we can't get it loose on the tires. I got you. You know what I mean? I just know that didn't, didn't, don't give it much of a throat there. Nope I know but I don't want to get it tied into the tires. Yep, yep, yep. I understand you know what I mean. Somebody please verify that the brakes are set. Okay, Talon, you got your remote? Go ahead and snug up on your winch. Can you double check that? I did, you're good. We good? Okay, we're gonna lock the house lock. And the travel lock for now. Lock the winches in. Make sure we don't cross any of our lines here. We're good. I'm just getting it, I'm just getting it snugged up for now. No, not yet. I want to make sure that we don't, uh, our lines don't rub here. I was just want to come over this way before. Well, see, I don't, I don't like that side pull on that front hook, so oh, yeah. I wanted to try this. Okay, Talon. Let me go around the side and check out his hookup on those side hooks. Come on over here with me. All right, release the tractor. Just the tractor. Just the tractor? Just the tractor. Let me double check his, make sure nothing you got loose on the other side yep. of that strap push. Yep. All right, I'm putting a counter force. Do what? Okay, so go in there? No. Oh, Look what's happening here. You gotta rub it. That needs to be on the other side of that. Unfortunately, yes. It does. Darn it. Can and see. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, much better, much better. Okay, Talon, I just want you to, I don't want you to crush on it. All right, Mike, did you get the uh, brakes released? Release the brakes on the tractor only, please. All right, Sarge, you need anything else before we start? Nope, take her off. Hey, Talon, go, go flip my winch brake. Or Mike, somebody, please. Winch brake set. That'd be nice if you could set that from back here. Yep. That'd be nice if you could. Come on, baby. Hold on, let me get that front end out. You just hold, don't do anything oh, else. Yeah, just just hold, bud. Well, yeah, now let's watch that cable. Tire. Yep, let's check the cable on the tire. There's a little, yeah. There's a little. It's coming over the top. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna pop. There ain't much we can do about it. Unless we cut it. Do what? No, we're we're good. We're gonna keep going. No, we're gonna. No, we're going right now. Dang it. Can you go in there stand stand on, the on the brakes, yes. Okay. We need this tire turned this way too. What did he do? Well, lucky there. That's what we needed. All right, start letting off yours a little bit so we don't crush the roof. You good? Okay, whoa.
and hold. Snug yours up and hold what you have, please. Getting close. Good you what, sir? So far, you make it look pretty easy. Thank you, thank you. Do what, Talon? Talon, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and write some information down here, real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nope, you do what you gotta do, buddy. I'll just ask me if there's all need to let off the brake. Yeah, it's okay to let off the brake. <laughs> yeah, one, that, one that matches ours. One that matches. Are you good? I'm good now. I figured that Midland would, would All right. go along with it. We're going to hold while he's doing his measuring and stuff. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and put this drag up okay. and the chains that go along with it. And then I will pull forward and we can uh, probably redirect now to this pull pin since we're not pu putting a side pull on it. And we'll just keep going. Keep going the way we are. No, 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 no. And this, this ain't our first rodeo, my friend. I don't think anything really much damage from the by itself. We'll take a good look at it once we get it up here on the road, okay? The hood don't look too bad either. It could have come a whole, could have been a whole lot worse. Yeah. He's in good not shape bad. for the shape he was in. Not bad at all. Not and, bad at all. You hear that? He's in good shape for the shape he was in. Yeah. It's safe for him to get in there, yes sir. Right. Go right ahead. Coming at you. <laughs> that nut ain't, ain't tightening, so it ain't going loose either. Put this away, sir? Yes, sir. Put, air, put that away. Need a new bumper, but it ain't going to be uh, ripped off like I thought it was going to be. Hey, did you get on one of our radios? Yeah, he got one of our radios on. Free spool blue, please. We good? I hear it creaking. It's wanting to go back a little bit. I don't want it to go back a little bit. You're out of the worst part now. I'm just gonna wait till uh, you're done and I'll pull forward. I'm done, you can go ahead and pull forward. Okay, all right. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull, pull forward. forward. Okay. 
Can you hold on to that, please? Watch your legs. I'm gonna come forward with the outriggers out. Yes, sir. I've got the brakes set. They're they're all locked. Yeah, if you would put those up for me, Mike, please. I think I'm going to need you once I get tightened up. Okay, Mike. I want you in the driver's seat. Don't, don't start it. No. But I want you to release all the brakes. Everything? I want you to re release everything because I'm going to pull okay. forward on it. Keep okay. the wheel turned this way so that Talon we bring those drives up onto the once pavement. Drives on the concrete. Yep. Uh, once Talon lets it slack, I think it'll come right on out. But be ready on the foot brake just in case. No, 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 no. Foot brake will be all right. Okay, Talon let off. Mike, release. Truck. This trailer. Okay, and we're moving. You're almost safe. You're all right, you're all right. You're fine. Like we driving down that road to get to that truck <laughs> I was waiting for That's all right. As long as we get that those drives up off of that, we're in good shape. Yeah, I almost, I almost right. stopped before I got to him. Hold your foot brake for a second. Because <laughs> I'm putting a heck of a side load on this pin. Let me check this other side. Set your brakes, Mike. Okay, Talon, we can take yours down. We're, we're safe on your end. I'm gonna have to repin over here if it doesn't move on its own. Okay. I, I think, yeah, I'm gonna pull up a little bit and if it doesn't work, I'll redirect off of this. It's got so much mud here, I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna have as long as it doesn't slide backwards, we're okay. Yeah. I don't think it will. It's not, it's not a little bit of good road behind it. I think I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. That way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it, it's got it's got two and a half foot or so of uh, clean road behind the tires. Yeah, no but in it. front of it it's all mud. Yeah. Which is a prop. Oh, I need that pin. Not using 
your phone lazy. Alright. Alrighty, alright. I think it holds up though. Well, it might, but I'd rather. Oh, I, I, I One more drag and we got it. What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't need the outriggers anymore. I'm just gonna pull it enough forward so that the drives come over the mud that it's on. I'll leave this one out. Make sure I'm on free spool. I am. Okay guys, moving forward. These you have to do in short little pulls so you keep the right angle on it. You try to get too greedy and go too much at one time, you'll have the wrong angle and you won't be able to do the job that you need to do. Right here we should be good to go. Okay, Mike, yes. you ready? Yep. Let's finish getting this thing up. Yeah, I'm gonna pull forward again. I want it, I want it. Just come right up behind the truck. Just, just straighten it up and come straight up behind my truck. You release them? Yeah, I got enough pressure to go. Okay. Just barely, just drop down to the red so I don't right. have no pressure. Set them. Of course, they're not moving anyway. Uh, make sure it's in neutral. Okay, it's in neutral. Fire it. In neutral now. Watch your gauges. Make sure the oil pressure's good. You gotta hold the brake. Gotta hold the brake, he said. I might have to key it off and back on. I might have to key it off. No, I might have to key it off and back on since I tried cranking it once already. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, you good? Good. Huh? Looks good. Running 40 pounds. Of That's all right. Let it build air. Check engine light on, but gauges look good. Thank you, sir. Check it was on because of low air pressure. Right, on because of low air pressure. All right, it's on in neutral, which is great. Yep. All in right. Get it up to 90 and then release. Let's get it up on the roof. Nice try. 
tractor? Yep. Release trailer. Steer to the right a little bit. Now, put on the brake and put it in drive. Okay. Let off the brake now. Just let off the brake. I want it in drive so it's not pulling against those. See if it'll pull itself up now. Put on the gas, see if it'll pull up. Go ahead, go ahead, come on, come on. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, there she sits, out of the cables, back up on the road, not in danger anymore, safely moving under its own power. I'm going to get off of here so I can finish lining things up and head home, lead this gentleman uh, to a safe location. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.